All right, what's good YouTube? Gentlemen, Thomas here and I'm the coach of the Copenhagen Galates from here for my Roost team, uh, Week 3 Team Builder. This week we are going up against the Manchester Umbreons, which is inspired by the team Manchester United. And as a Tottenham fan, I have to beat this team the same way Tottenham beat Manchester United. I'm sorry, that's just how it is. This team is coached by Austin. Now, Austin's teams consist of Greninja, Celebi, Doraldon, Diancy, Center Scorch, Kangaskhan, Manectric, Gligar, Hitmonchan, and Wallapede. It's a pretty balanced team. It is more on the specially offensive side than the physically offensive side, but it does have Celebi can be run both ways, and Gligar can be somewhat physically offensive. Center Scorch can be very physically offensive because it actually has a really good attack stat. It's just often used more in a support special defensive role, and the same goes for Hitmonchan. Can be really good offensively, but is often more in a support role. Now, he has a couple of weaknesses that I'm that I definitely want to try and exploit. Plus, he has one mod in my team that he's actually fairly weak to. Uh, that being Bereshkuda. Now, some of the useful info for his team is he has four Stilfrox setters in Celebi, Dreldon, Diancy, and Gligar. Then he has two, both Spike and T-Spike users in Greninja and Wallapede. Both of them get both kinds of, uh, of spikes. Now, his removal, on the other hand, is not the greatest. He has Gligar, which is really, really good. Gligar is a really good defogger. Having Roost and, Roost and Defog and Gligar is something you can almost almost always have. And then he has Hitmonchan, which... Rabbit Spin and Hitmonchan is definitely something you want to run most of the time, just because it can give the plus one speed. So even if you're running a offensive set, if you have Rabbit Spin, get the plus one speed, you can all of a sudden outspeed a whole lot of things. And therefore have Hitmonchan actually be kind of a sweeper that way. Especially now, that we, because we're in lower tier, the 105 in attack, I believe it is, Hitmonchan has, is actually fairly good. Uh, he has two clerics in Celebi and Diancy, both getting Heal Bill, I believe. I actually don't think Celebi gets Aromatherapy. I think it is Heal Bill, which is kind of funny being a grass type. Now, the first mod I want to bring this week is always, always, always Lucario, also known as Zimbos. Now, I, br I do bring Lucario... Um, because I think it's a good matchup, but part of me is, I have been starting to wonder if I'm bringing it just because it was my first pick and I want to make it work, but for some reason I just, I haven't been able to get Lucario to really work. I've, I've tried physically offensive uh, setup, I've tried specially offensive setup, so I'm going to try it a little bit different this time around. Uh, I'm going to try the choice specs, which means the holder's special attack is 1.5, but it can only select the first move it executes. He is not the greatest defensively on the special side. Like Gligar, Doraldon is very physically defensive. Now, Doraldon do carry Assault Vest, a Vest on a lot of its sets, but it can also be like a Specs or a Scarf if you wanted to. Uh, Hitmonchan is somewhat specially defensive, but I actually do think he would rather want to run, a, want to run it offensively in, on this team. And in general, his special defense is a little bit lower than physical defense, in my opinion. Uh, I went with Steadfast again this week. Again, I don't think Inner Focus is all that great because if he flinches me, I actually kind of want the plus one speed to Lucario rather than be being immune to flinching. Uh, and Justified raise, raises the attack and not the special attack, so therefore it doesn't it doesn't really matter for Lucario this week. So I might as well run Steadfast. Um, I went I went yeah, I went with the timid nature with 40 HP, zero defense, two two special attacks, zero special defense, and 216 speed. This should allow me to outspeed anything that is base 85 and below, being the the Duraladan. I don't think he will run max speed uh, Kangaskhan in any scenario. I also don't think he will run max speed Gligar, but max speed the rail done is definitely a possibility. So I wanted to creep for that. Um, the moves I went with were Dark Pulse, Aura Sphere, Flash Cannon, and Vacuum Wave. Now, his team is bad. It is very well balanced in the in the sense that if I lock myself into a move, he does have a mon that can come in next and take the hit. If I lock myself into Dark Pulse to hit the Celebi, he could go into Greninja or Hitmonchan. They take the or Diancy. They take the the move uh, fairly well. If I lock myself into Aurosphere to hit the Duraladon, the Kangaskhan, he can go into Gligar, he can go into Center Scorch, they don't care, Celebi don't care. Now, Flash Cannon is probably the move I can go in, I can lock myself into the most, because his water type is Greninja, and Greninja is not the bulkiest, plus, if he, he has to be 100% certain I'm a choice spec set, otherwise he risk Greninja a whole lot. And Flash Cannon, while Duraladon resist it. It's special defense is not good, so it's still going to do a chunk. 
Uh, his best swap into flash can is Center Scorch, uh, but at the same time, if I hit or or uh, not or see a dark pulse, I do I do a chunk. Plus, I think Center Scorch is going to be a little bit more offensively than defensively this week. And lastly, I have Vacuum Wave just if I need to pick up, pick a uh, pick out a kill towards the end or something, and I need to outspeed something. Next up, we have Barish Guda, and this is the mod I definitely think can win me the game this week. Um, it can hit. His, pretty much his entire team from for super affected or at least neutral damage, which is why I went with the expert belt this week. I don't want to lock myself in, but I also don't want to lose health with life orb, uh, simply just because he does have. I do think he will run a scarfmon either in Celebi or Duraludon potentially, maybe even Manectric. So I don't want to have to lock myself in. Now. Uh, the ability is just going to stay the same for Peltel. I don't get any benefit from any of the abilities. Uh, I went with the Jolly Nature with four, 104 HP, 252 attack, 4 defense, 4 special defense, and 144 in speed. This allows me to outspeed the entirety of his team that is not a Trish Gaffmon. Um Next, we have the moves, which is going to be Flip Turn, Liquidation, Throat Chop, and Close Combat. Um, again, I was very 50-50 if I want to run Flip Turn or Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet lets me out-prioritize a lot of his mana, and it can be good for some mons, but at the same time, the mons I think he would bring that could outspeed Barry Scooter doesn't really care too much about Aqua Jet. Celebi doesn't care. Duraldon doesn't really care. Um, Manectric could do a good chunk to Manectric, um, and if he gets a plus one spoo uh, speed boost with him and Chan, it could do it. A decent chunk to that, but I, ra I would rather be able to send in Bereshkuda and flip turn out on whatever he wants to bring in because, as I said, he doesn't have much of an answer to Bereshkuda. Uh, so I think I definitely think something like the Celebi could come defensively because of that, which is why I brought uh, Throat Chop. Throat Chop is a dark type move, uh, 80 base, which it, it makes it so he can use sound based move. I don't think that's gonna matter a whole lot, but it was just a dark type move that did good damage. And then close combat is just for like Doraldan, Kangaskhan. Uh, the rest, rest of the mods pretty much just takes a liquidation and either dies or takes like a whole lot. But yeah, that's very scooter this week. Next up, we have the mod. I think I'm gonna lead off with this mod because I want to punch a hole through his team, uh, make kind of make him question what he wants to do if he needs to sack a mod or not. And that's gonna be Raichu, also known as Inazuma. Raichu is gonna be holding Focus Edge, which is why it's gonna be lead this week. Uh, if Holder's HP is full, it will survive attack. That will KO over one HP. Uh, it's going to be Lightning Rod. I don't know. I went back and forth between Lightning Rod and Static. Lightning Rod is only if he's like Scarf or Trash Specs Manectric and he takes an electric move. I can send in right you for free. It doesn't take any uh, damage at all. Where Static, being a Focus Sash, I mean, yeah, I could potentially uh, get the Static off as I go down to my 1 HP, which could be really, really good if he's like U turn Greninja or something like that. Uh, but I feel like Lightning Rod is just a safer play. Um, I don't know. I might have changed it to Static uh, before we go in the match. I will quickly do the quick team key, team recap before the match. But I might have changed it to Static. I might not. I don't know. Uh, the Raichu is going to be a Timid Nature with 80 HP, 0 defense, 252 special attack, 0 special defense, 176 in speed. This allows me to outspeed the Celebi, I believe. I don't think I speed crafted for the Manectric because... Manectric, yes, it gets overheat and I can do a lot to Raichu, but other than that, it can touch Raichu pretty much. And I don't think he's gonna bring the Manectric. He could, he could, he could, but I don't think so. Uh, though, I guess he could say that I wouldn't bring Runed Regis just because both his Greninja and Celebi does a whole lot to Runed Regis. But Runed Regis is, on, on the other hand, good for like Gligar, it's good for Diancy. It's good for the Raladon, it's good for Center Scorch. Like, it can do a lot to a lot of his mods. So I don't know if he would bring Manectric. Uh, the moveset on Raichu is going to be Focus by Thunderbolt, Hidden Power Eyes, and Nasty Plot. Now, I went back and forth here between a couple of moves. Like, I knew I wanted Thunderbolt 100%, of course. But then I was like, do I want Vault Switch if I want to switch out? Or do I want, like, Focus Blast? I went with Focus Blast, I can hit the Duraldon, I can hit the Kangaskhan. Uh, and then I went with Hidden Power Eyes simply just because it uh, it lets me Oko with a Gligar at plus two. And even though I thought about bringing Signal Beam over Focus Blast to hit the Celebi, Hidden Power Eyes does enough to Celebi that can that I can be okay with it. The only scenario where Raichu is a bad lead, in my opinion, is actually if he brings if he leads his Celebi, that's gonna be bad because 
Celebi can bring me down to my sash with earth power, and even after plus two, hidden power is only going to do 70, and yes, 70% is good for Celeb good against the Celebi. The problem just becomes that Celebi is a base 100 man that gets to recover, so it's, it's really fast recovering man. Um, so he he will 100% find an opportunity where he can uh, heal back up. Now, if he swaps into his Celebi as a nasty plot, because that's what I'm what I'm gonna do turn one most likely, I might nasty plot again, go to plus four. If I outspeed him, that's perfect. If I don't outspeed him, I kind of just wasted a turn. I don't know, but that's also a really really good way to uh, scout out whether he's scarf or not. Uh, next up, we have Incineroar, also known as Overhaul. Now, Incineroar is going to be heavy duty boots this week uh, with the Intimidate ability, of course. It's going to be a careful nature with 248 HP, 52 attack, 0 defense, 208 special defense, and 0 speed. This is kind of my soft Celebi counter. Um, I know Celebi gets Earth Power, and Earth Power does do a decent chunk to Incineroar, but. I kind of don't have the greatest answer to Greninja and Celebi. Oh, okay. No, let me rephrase it. I have have one excellent answer to Celebi, if I'm being completely honest. But I don't really want to bring it just because I don't think its matchup against the rest of the team is all that great. So I would rather go for Incineroar, hope that he might not have the Earth Power, even though I'm pretty sure he will. Um, I didn't scare it out. Plus, I could be running Pursuit now. If you look at the moves, I'm not running Pursuit, but I could. So he might actually be very scared to bring in Celebi a whole lot. If I swap into Incineroar, click Pursuit, he, he can't swap out. But, but the move set is Flare Blitz, Knock Off, Drain Punch, and Parting Shot. Now, I went for Parting Shot over U-Turn because if I do swap into Incineroar, if he clicks Earth Power and he does so and so much damage, I think he's going to stay in and just try and kill me. Where, if he doesn't get me within the kill range, I don't think he would ever stay in with Celebi, so U-turn isn't necessarily better than Parting Shot, because U-turn would be better if he stayed in with Celebi, because it would do a whole chunk to Celebi, but Parting Shot is just better if he brings in Doraladon, I can lower its special attack, if he's bringing in Gliga, I can lower its attack, since he brings something in, so I definitely think Parting Shot is the overall better move to use this week, but... Uh, again, like U-turn is also really good because it's super effective if he brings in his Greninja, super effective on Celebi, and it's just a momentum move. I know Panic Shot is as well, but it, it's a momentum move that can chip down a couple of stuff here and there. Now, next up, we have Weezing Gala, also known as Dimmerdome. Uh, it's going to be holding the Black Sludge uh, this week. Um, I just needed to slowly heal a little bit because I'm not going to bring any healing on this thing. I went with Neutralizing Gas, not because I have any abilities I want to suppress against him, but more so I wanted Weezing to be on the ground, because his ground type is a Gligar, and I don't... F like, I say I don't fear the Gligar, but I know Gligar, Double Dance Gligar can be scary. It can be really scary. Um, but I want Weezing to be on the ground in case he brings T-Spike, because you do have two T-Spike users. I know this means that if you bring spikes, uh, I'm going to take a whole lot more damage on Weezing, and that's not good. But I didn't bring removal this week. Spoilers already. Uh, so therefore, I kind of needed a way to get rid of Toxic Spike in case they came. Now, the Weezing this week is going to be a physical defensive wall with 248 HP, 200 and, uh, defense. Zero special attacks, 60 special defense, and zero speed. This is like for Hitmonchan, it's for um, Duraldon physical, Sensor Scott physical now. Gligar, if he brings an offensive uh, double dance, if I had Levitate, this would be a good count of the Gligar then. Unfortunately, I don't have Levitate, so I, I kind of have to just hope he doesn't bring double dance Gligar. But I, in the end, uh, he, he would always, I think, have to go for... Rock Polish first, just because if he goes for Sword Stance and I should swap in Barrescuta or something, he can't go. F he can't go for the Rock Polish afterwards, and then I'm just gonna take him out with Barrescuta. Now the moves for Weezing is Sludge Bomb, Strange Steam, Toxic Spikes, and Aromatherapy. Now, as I mentioned, he has really good Hazard Setters himself, but he doesn't have the greatest removal. Now Gligar can more than likely swap in to this man for free, so. T spikes, if if I set a layer up, he swaps in Gliga. I think I can more or less presume that he goes for Defog or potentially knock off one of those two, and I could potentially swap in my either Incineroar 
to try and knock him off. I know that's very risky with, with an earthquake. Or I can try and um, swap in my bear scooter to kind of pressure him. Uh, or maybe the right shoe. Mm, I don't know. It's going to be risky. It's going to be interesting, definitely. Um, again, we think Gala might be on also swap a little bit around. I might actually put Defog over Aromatherapy. And then run Levitate on this thing. Just so that he won't go for an earthquake on Weezing. And then I can swap in like Incineroar or, Ra or Raichu or something if I wanted to. Lastly, on this team, it's going to be a very interesting one. I've been wanting to bring this uh, for a while now. It was actually a toss-up between this and Dewpider. It was one of those two I actually kind of wanted to bring just because... I think they had a decent matchup, plus I needed something that could stop the Greninja a little bit. And that something is going to be Gogod, also known as Philoctetes. <laughs> I love that name. Now, Gogod is going to be Leftovers, which means at the end of every turn, Holo restores 160 of its max HP. I chose the Sap Saber ability just because I don't get anything out of Grass Pelt. And Sap Saber at least make it so Celebi can spam Grass-type moves, so that's at least something. Um... It's going to be a sassy nature, actually, with 248 HP, 0 attack, two, uh, 32 defense, 0 special attack, and 228 in special defense with the down speed, which does mean that the Sentry Scorch, unfortunately, actually outspeeds me. That's not the greatest. I would have preferred to outspeed the Sentry Scorch, um, but I kind of needed both the physical and the special attack on this mon, just because it has a very interesting moveset, and that moveset being Earthquake, Horn Leech, Hidden Power, Buck and milk drink. The reason for this is Earthquake and Horn Leech as he actually hits the entirety of his team uh, from either super effective or neutral damage, but except for the Celebi. Celebi, I needed Hidden Power Buck. I didn't get a natural Buck type move. I kind of hoped for Mega Horn because I hadn't actually looked at it too much. But Hidden Power Buck does 50% to Celebi if it's in uh, if it's an offensive Celebi, and I don't Celebi can't do too much to. Back to Go Goat, so that's like it's a really good counter for both Celebi and Greninja. Hornleech helps with the recovery, but it being a physical move and his most likely swap into this being either Gligar or Center Scorch does make it. I can risk the Flame Body on uh, Center Scorch, which is why I wanted to bring Aromatherapy on uh, Weezing mainly for the Center Scorch, Center Scorch Flame Body, or should he just bring Scald on the Greninja? I think I think when he gets scald, I actually don't know for certain, because I know it want to run surf a lot of the time, or hydro pump. But yeah, uh, and lastly we have milk drink just for the recovery, because that's the main reason why I like Gogod. It gets milk drink over synthesis, so it's not reliant on on, on only having H eight uh, PP. It actually has sixteen instead. But yeah, I really wanted to bring Gogod. I was so excited to do it. Um, yeah. So that's the team this week. Uh, let me know what you thought of the team. Uh, as I said, I might do changes. And if I do changes, I definitely will go over them uh, as I head into the battle. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the team. I think this is definitely one of the more interesting ones I have. Uh, I think <laughs> the last two games where, spoilers, I lost. I was more confident going into the match than uh, than I am for this. This I'm very like, I don't know. It's gonna be very fifty fifty, I think. Uh, and subscribe to the channel uh, for future videos. And with that, I'm out. Peace, YouTube.